Brother Robert's text is Acts 26, 18. I'm going to go back to verse 12. Wherefore, I'm sorry, whereunto, as I am at to, de let me start again. <laughs> whereunto, as I went to Damascus with authority and, com and commission from the chief priest, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me and them that journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice saying unto me, uh, uh, saying unto me, speaking unto me, and saying to the, in, in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick, kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both to those things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. In this passage, Paul is speaking to King Agrippa and Festus and some of the other nobles. And it states that there is a light brighter than the sun. Now, we can't look into the sun without protective eyewear because it will do damage to our eyes. So you could say that for a time, Paul's eyes were damaged. Um, um, uh, the light was so bright that Paul and his companions fell to the ground. Now, he knew, um, he knew this wasn't an ordinary light, but one that had come from God. Now, when um, he fell to the ground in submission to God, and when he asked, uh, when, when he hears the voice say, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Saul didn't know who was speaking to him until it was revealed that it was Jesus. Jesus had, um, has done this for Paul to be a minister to the Gentiles. Um, and Jesus is going to give Paul things that he didn't give any other apostle. Uh, Jesus opened Paul's eyes. And now I'm going to let Brother Robert expound the text, Acts 26, 18, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that, it, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and, it, and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith, that is, in me.